It is day seventh of our Appalachian Trail through hike. We're starting the day at uh, Dix Creek Gap. We actually spent the night uh, in the town of uh, Hiawassee where we did our resupply. And uh, so today we are walking around 12 miles to uh, Muskrat Gap Shelter and uh, so we are heading towards franklin and today we'll be uh, crossing the border of uh, the states of georgia and north carolina so we're looking forward for that it's going to be our second state of the appalachian trail out of 14. so the forecast is for rain but the day started pretty nice it's uh, the temperature is uh, cool and uh, and uh, it's not overcast so hopefully it's going to be a sunny day Goodbye, Georgia. Hello, North Carolina. All right, in yourself. You didn't have to say guy with military back on, did you? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh, well, when I saw him, he was taking a break. Okay. So, I think he's kind of way behind. Is he pretty hard? Okay. Yeah. We left the same time. Right? Yeah, he told me about you. You're together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then stopped and chilled on that big rock for, for about 20 minutes yes. and just cooked lunch. Right. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were him at first. I don't have my glasses or contacts yeah. since I can't see that one. I was like, that profile looks too thin. Right. <laughs> wow, man. This is beautiful here. Yeah, it's nice. Out, man. That rain was nice. Blessing did cool me down. I thought, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this.
what a day with uh, thunderstorms and uh, heavy rains, wind, cold, but uh, beautiful mountains and uh, beautiful landscape. Um, but I'm really happy to be close to the shelter now. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna stay in the shelter or if I'm gonna set up my tent. I'm gonna get there to decide. Uh, it's, uh, I should be just uh, half a mile from uh, Muskrat Gap shelter in North Carolina. Yes! It is past midnight, I'm inside my tent uh, around uh, Muskrat Gap shelter and uh, we heard some noise and uh, uh, there was a bear here and I was able to take uh, two food bags. Uh, one of them is mine. It completely disappeared. So Walden's food bag is to the other side of the uh, shelter. So we'll see in the morning. Uh, and uh, if it's still there, we're gonna have to share Walden's food until Franklin, which is about two days hiking from where we are. Good morning. It is day eight of our through hike and the day today starts with uh, the story of the bear that came to the campsite last night and took my bag, uh, this other hiker's bag, that was around midnight and later the bear came back at 3.30 in the morning and took three more bags from hikers. So we'll see what we'll do. Uh, I haven't checked yet uh, if the bear took uh, Walden's food. His Walden's still asleep. He, he had uh, his bag at a different location. So we'll see how it's there. And uh, if his food is there, we're gonna share it. If not, we're gonna have to find a way. We are like, uh, two to three days uh, uh, before reaching um, Franklin. So we'll see how we're gonna manage. My bag was hanging on this Tree, which is quite high. My bag is completely gone. It's, uh, some other hiker's bag, uh, he ripped it off, took the food, but my bag, he just completely disappeared with it. I don't know where the, the bear took my bag to. Morning. Morning. So, did he take yours? Yeah. He took Trotsky's, mine, Lydia's. Oh. Baby bird, Ermina. Bear brain. Bear brain. So what? Four, four food bags all together. And then ripped yours. Man, what a bear, huh? Like, show me my food bag. Yeah, sure. I got the bottom half of it over here. I saw like uh, behind the preview, I saw this uh, 
bag there, destroyed. That has been there. That it's been there. Yeah. So yeah, that's from previous hikers. Huh? That's because both of you talk bad about your own oh, well, That's what it was, I heard so, yeah. it. And they were like, what? We're gonna see if uh, Walden's food bag is safe. They took it? They definitely tried to. But it's still hanging? Well, good for you, man. So they went all the way here. Yeah, I, I just heard the, the other guys who were camping, I think they slept out near the bags to protect them. But how do you know they mess with it? I mean, I didn't leave it like that, right? They stuck on the branch. And the rope? The rope here. No, I know, but did you leave it like this? Sorry, what? Was no. the rope like this? No, I left it hanging. I didn't leave it stuck on. So they tried to do this, see? So... See what I'm doing here? Yeah. That's what they try to do. So, yeah, so they are used to getting the bags out of the tree, just cutting the ropes. I don't know how I'm going to get this down now, because it's kind of stuck there. That's the reason they didn't take yours, man, because it's uh, hang it's uh, stuck. Well, it wasn't stuck. They made it stuck. I know, I know, but uh, but it got stuck, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have to think of something. It is day number eight. I'm back on the trail, so... Yeah, last night we had the incident with the bears. Uh, altogether, the bears were able to get the food from seven different hikers, uh, mine included. So I'm left without any food whatsoever. And uh, so because of that, we're changing plans. I've made arrangements for a shuttle service to uh, pick us up at uh, service road which is four miles ahead of uh, muskrat gap shelter that's where we spent the night so we're gonna be uh, taken into franklin so i can get a, a new food bag and uh, uh, resupply and come back to the trail tomorrow hopefully so so today is gonna be a shorter day it's uh, only five four miles to to the service road and uh, but i'll try to be back on the trail tomorrow <laughs>